There's not much going on in the world of bushwalking at the moment, is there? Uh, so I think it's time for a little, little bit more reminiscing. Today I'm going to go through kind of like my top five worst weather conditions that I've experienced in Tasmania while out bushwalking. It could be a day trip, it could be a multi-day walk. I've been quite fortunate in regard to sort of poor weather because, you know, I often kind of pick and choose where I go depending on the forecast. So if it's like a really bad weather forecast, I might not go up a mountain. Hence, that's kind of why most experiences on this list are multi-day walks. And number five, I have the peeling trip. And I've got day three of the peeling trip in particular. We're going back to February 2018. And this was, well, for starters, I should say, I could pick any day of this trip because it rained on all four days of walking up the Arm River track, going up Oakley, walking out, but day three in particular was quite bad because that was when we went up Mount Peeling East and it was really, really unpleasant. You know, it's that typical combination of strong winds and rain and no views when you're up on the top as well. Climbing Peeling East was tricky. It's a little bit of a scramble in that last little section. Hands were in a bit of pain as they often are. And then yeah, I remember we got back to uh, the tents at New Peeling Heart and we just bunkered down there for the rest of the day. It was uh, Bit of an unpleasant trip really on the whole especially if you combine the uh, rats chewing through my old tent and number four i've got the tarn shelf so we're going up quite a while back now to september 2016. i don't have a video of this trip it was with the uni walking club and i remember the original plan was mount field west but you know we sort of changed plans with the weather even so we were still just as exposed really i remember there being quite a lot of snow and you know, I was wearing gloves and my old gloves weren't very good, so they weren't doing very much at all. Strong winds and rain as we went across the Tarn Shelf, kept losing the track because of the snow. And I remember we took refuge at Newgate Hut, and it was about then when it started to ease off the weather, thankfully. And you know, we ended up descending down to Lake Webster and back up to Lake Dobson, and that was alright because we were in the forest. But yeah, that was a tough little section going across the Tarn Shelf. At number three, we're going back even further. We're going back to January 2015 to the South Coast Track, in particular, the Ironbound Range. And obviously, anyone who's walked the South Coast Track knows the Ironbound Range is pretty tough. And we did it the opposite way, so we went up from Little Dead Man's Bay. And obviously, that is tricky going up through that forest. And I remember we got up to high camp and there were some views, but then the weather slowly started to get worse. You know, the clouds came in, the wind and rain arrived, and we were told to wait for the rest of our group at that high camp on the iron bounds, but we were just getting colder and colder. We were there for like half an hour or something. And we said, let's just go. This is ridiculous. And I remember we left, we made a little message of made out of sticks on some duckboard there. We wrote, meet at LR, LR meaning Louisa River. And so we just kept going after that. And yeah, we were getting blown off the track going across the top there. It was so strong, that wind. And yeah, in the end, we got across the iron bounds in super quick time. It would have only been about six hours, I reckon, including that break. At number two, I've got something a little bit more recent, the uh, Little Fisher River trip, day two in particular. So this was when I went from, or out to Columna Bluff after camping at Mersey Crag. And if you've watched that video, you'd know that rain pretty much fell all morning, so I didn't leave until about the middle of the day. The winds were lashing the tent. And as I walked out, you know, rain would fall really heavily for 20 minutes. I'd just put my head down and walk and then the knees off for about 20 minutes, that would give me a chance to set up the camera. And strong winds persisted pretty much the entire time. And you know, I had no views on Columna Bluff, which was a bit unfortunate. And I even had some light snow on the way back, as the clouds set in as well. So navigation was added all, that, all the more difficult. But yeah, some of the rain that was falling was really painful actually, because it was blowing straight in my face. Felt like hail at times as well. Before we get to number one, I was just put out a couple of honourable mentions. The first one I've got is Southern Ranges Day 3. We had steady rain for long periods and no views on Pindar's Peak, but it didn't make the top five as there was pretty much no wind, which always makes it the worst. And the rain didn't fall at the start and beginning of the day. So we packed up without any rain. And then when we got to Leaning Tea Tree Saddle, there was no rain either and there was actually sun. So that's why I didn't make top five. The other honourable mention is Mount Albert, where it pretty much rained the entire way up. This is Mount Albert in the northeast. Yeah, we only got fleeting glimpses of views on the top, but yeah, it didn't make the top five because while the weather was pretty bad, it was such a short walk that, you know, and it wasn't massively exposed either. But, you know, in hindsight, I really could have picked a more suitable walk to do in that weather. And number one, I have Southern Ranges Day One. Does it get any worse than that? I mean, probably. The strong winds and rain did not cease all day. We were just walking non-stop in rain and wind. We were buffeted by those winds on Moonlight Ridge. We had flooded creeks like Mystery Creek at the start. 
and we're walking in cloud and only about one to two hundred meters in elevation so you know we never had any glimpse of a view at all we've got very few photos and video clips from that day because we just didn't have any inclination to stop moving you know i i remember standing at pigsty ponds when we finally arrived and i was just shivering this was before we got the tent up and then the friend i was walking with he just said go run and i pretty i, I think i did actually even wearing boots and everything i just went running around pigsty ponds which would have been a bit weird but yeah that's my recollection of what we did on the southern rangers day one it was it was madness that day the weather thank you for watching the video uh if you've got any suggestions for top more top five lists leave them in the comments or go through some of your experiences in the comments as well stay safe everyone and i'll see you next video